There are encouraging results of a recent clinical trial where over 44% of patients who received a therapeutic vaccine for lung cancer were still alive one year after receiving the treatment. To tell us a bit more, Shirley Sitbon from our science desk is with me. And Shirley, this was a trial carried out here in France. Just tell us a bit more about what the medics found. So uh, once again, it's tailor-made. Let's see, we have a, a, a graphic showing that it all starts with the sequencing of the tumor uh, cells, the tumor tissues, which are taking, taken out of the body, and they're analyzed. And then artificial intelligence is used uh, to identify the 30 most likely mutations. And then a vaccine is created out of that data uh, analyzed uh, by artificial intelligence because there could be thousands of mutations, but it identified only 30. And then a vaccine is made. Once the vaccine is created, well, it sends a signal to the immune system. Uh, it tells the T cells uh, how to recognize and destroy the tumor cells, uh, which is uh, quite extraordinary. And these are some illustrations of obviously the fight against lung cancer. The idea is they want to develop this to various other cancers as well. Uh, many companies are working on this. Uh, and you talked about the survival rate. So mm -hmm. two groups were taken a year ago. One uh, had chemotherapy. Uh, the other one had this vaccine. All of them were people who already had this lung cancer. And the group uh, who took the vaccine, who had the vaccine several times, uh, well, it survived. 44% survived after one year. And the other group, only 27.5% survived. Uh, so it shows a real difference. Also, uh, the uh, Second, the side effects were also lessened, uh, so there's great hope in that. How many vaccines did they have? First uh, was every three weeks, then every two months, then every three months. And uh, the testing will continue. The goal is to develop this type of therapeutic vaccine. And as we've said, uh, various companies are working and targeting various cancers. This type is lung cancer. All right. Really promising research indeed. Shirley Sitbon, thanks very much.